hey, it's got Kubo. I was driving with autopilot, and you can see navigate on autopilot takes that interchange on its own. This was version 2019.8, and as we come to the interchange, it actually will slow down a little bit on its own, and I think that's a very great feature, but so far, uh, smooth driving open road. As you can see, there might be some cars uh, stopped ahead, and I'm not sure if autopilot is gonna slow down for it. So autopilot didn't show any signs of slowing down, so I decided to take over. So this is a really dangerous situation with cars suddenly stopped on the road. Need to pay attention at all times. Here's the forward facing camera view and you can see with the curvature of the road and the wall on the left side, the radar won't be able to see the cars ahead. But the camera should be able to pick them up. It's hard because you have to separate them from the background and in addition there's other things like this truck image down here and you've got to figure out are these cars actually in your path and are they stopped. Now here the lane lines and the vehicles are clearly in view but it might be a little too late and, and maybe there's not enough time for the car to process all of this and react. You really want to be able to look far ahead when you're traveling at speed and the resolution of the cameras which you're seeing here is 1280 by 960. Is that enough? I, I think you certainly could question that. So this is a difficult uh, corner case for all uh, cruise control systems, not just Tesla, but Tesla's very dependent on radar at high speeds. And you can see where I took over, there's also this overpass which could uh, cause it not to break as well. Then when the car is finally visible on the display, I'm already starting to break and I think if it was going full speed at that point, even though it saw the car, um, probably radar based, it probably wouldn't have seen it in time to stop. Here's another similar situation. We're cruising along at highway speeds. And you can see there's a bit of curvature in the road and a crest that prevents us from seeing the too far ahead. And indeed, there's a bunch of stop traffic up here, but Autopilot does see it in time and uh, decelerates pretty aggressively and does okay. Now it did break in time, but that wasn't exactly comfortable. I'd like to see it decelerate a little earlier. If we take a look at this again, so of course uh, camera, radar, and LiDAR can't see over hills or around corners, but I think you notice there's some cues. The traffic on the adjacent lanes is starting to slow. There's a lot of brake lights. So I think it'd be really great if autopilot were to gradually slow down and give you a warning based on traffic data or uh, noticing the adjacent lanes are slowing down. Is so that about do it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the uh, bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you're researching to buy a Tesla, uh, click on the link. You can get yourself free supercharging. Um, maybe you can uh, wrap your car emerald green like uh, this Model S that just passed us by. Anyways, I enjoyed having you along as always. And uh, see you in the next video.